Hi. I thought I'd just show off this uh, little project that I've been working on right here. As you can see, it is a car that has been rigged to play video games. I'm just going to apologize in advance for the audio quality. I'm not working with great equipment here, so this may sound like a train wreck, but we'll persevere. Um, the technical write-up is in the description of this video, but uh, I'll just quickly go over what we've got going on down here. So, as you can see here, there is an OBD2 port in this car for diagnostic purposes. Plugged into it is like a Cheapest Chips ELM327 CAN bus adapter. They're great, you can get them on eBay for like $20 to $30. And uh, that would be plugged into a Linux PC over here, which is running a little bit of code on there to scrape the CAN events, so the information off the car's CAN bus, and convert it into joystick events. And then also, of course, run the video game which is driving the projector here. So um, not all the event, not all of the um, controls of the car are properly equipped to be harvested off the CAN bus. I've got like the steering wheel, the brake, the accelerator, the high beam flick, and a couple of the buttons. So I thought, um, let's give it a go. Let's let's play a couple of games. See see how it turns out. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's add some coins. Let's make the most important decision in the entire game and start. I gotta say, already it's feeling nicer than playing on a keyboard. Which I guess makes sense because. On a keyboard, it's basically like hard left, hard right, or just full straight. Whereas with this, you get little degrees. You can like shunt between cars. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, the steering wheel is locked in this car, but it actually feels really good. Yeah, you get just like enough force to. Give you a feedback. Oh crap, the hairpin bend! Oh. And yeah, as all people about on be familiar with, there's now an infinitesimal chance of getting to the next level now that I've like, bodged the hairpin bend. Okay. Whoa. Try that again. Okay, a very annoying thing about MAME I just figured out is that it loses the joystick bindings when the um, when the adapter disappears. Like, possibly I should just make my code a little bit more resistant to unplugging so it doesn't actually kill the U input device, but oh, it's, yeah. It just means a lot of closing and opening MAME and changing key bindings and stuff, which mostly I'm going to cut out this video so you're not going to have to watch any of that. Just hear me complain about it, because that's that's good content, it's good relatable content. Alright. Am I going to Yeah Learn from your mistakes after like 50 goes. I'm gonna turn left I think. Step back. It's still good. It's still good. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Get up to 178 and change the gears. Yeah. In this game, like, slowing down is pretty much instant death. There's no recovery you can really make from it because you're expected to go at like top speed everywhere. Oh. Holy crap, I've 
got so much time and you know, I'm... yeah. No way I'm getting out of this one now. When you flip the car, it's... yeah. I don't even know why they have a brake pedal in this game. You're 100% not expected to use it. It's always just like... release the accelerator just a little bit. One last go. Assuming I don't get docked by the hairpin band. We'll just see how far we can go. I'm not playing a good game today. I'm just... I don't know. Can't play, I can't blame the, the controller. The controller's great. It's being like super responsive, it's doing exactly what I ask it to. I'm just... I don't know. Just, oh my god. Again. Like... Nothing more basic than just to forget to switch to high gear. <sighs> Alright, next game! Alright, so next up we're gonna try a bit of Trackmania by Nadeo. Um, yeah, sorry about the frame rate. This is like a five year old laptop, so it's not gonna be fast. Well, the game's gonna be fast, but playing the game, frame, you know what I mean. Okay. I'm not sure if it's the dodgy frame rate or if it's something else. Oh, okay, car is moving like crazy. It feels like the steering wheel is analog, but the, um, the accelerator pedal isn't. So if I can't do a complete stop here. All right. Oh, oh, that's right. Car reverse. If you don't go to a complete stop. Okay. Car's at a complete stop. A little bit on the pedal, 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 a little bit on the pedal. Yeah, full speed. Come on, that's poor Nadeo. Poor. I mean, I get it's meant to be like an arcade racy type game, and so like the throttle is, you know, it's meant to be played with the keyboard, and it's all meant to be nice and snappy, and mechanics are kind of geared for that. But still, like on and off for acceleration is it's. Could be better. Could be a lot better. I'm gonna try like picking a different track. Oh, it's, it's been ages since I've played this. Like I had to dig through a really old email account to try and find the the, uh, the registration key that I used to um, to buy this back in like 2010. I want to say it's ages ago. All right. Full throttle. Oh. Oh jeez, it's one of those. Okay, try again. Gosh, like, the twitch. There's so much twitch in this game. Yeah, I don't even care. That. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not good at this. Um, maybe, maybe it'll be easier if I change to like the car's view. I'm betting I know what the answer's gonna be, but whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, alright. Maybe I like thrashed it too much during. Okay, well that's giving like no frame of reference. Ah! Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. Okay, turn around. Go very carefully through. I can't even breathe carefully through it. You gotta, gotta speed. You gotta go fast. You gotta get the rings. Oh, freak. Oh, that's time. Maybe I'd have more luck if I just redid this particular joystick with a nice big dead zone in the middle, but... Oh, that 
worked. Where am I? Oh, yeah. Yes, come on. Must make it to the end. So close. Okay, that's not as playable as um, not as playable as Outrun. I'd say that that definitely suffers because of the lack of an analog acceleration pedal. Next game. So I was thinking, I don't actually have that many racing games, but this setup should work equally well for tank controls. And what better example of tank controls than this classic? All right, so that actually feels pretty good. I've got um. Kind of roughly maps to the, so you, this is GZ Doom, which does support um, acceleration curve on the velocity. So like, I tap the if I just like hold down the accelerator a little bit, I just walk. But if I like hold it down, then I sprint. Um, turning works as you expected. You fire the gun with the high beams, and uh, let's see if I can. Well, firstly, turn around, grab. Walk up the stairs pretty carefully, grab the armor. Yeah, I think I didn't park the car straight because I'm veering a little bit to the left when I just leave the wheel by itself, which is annoying. But I can offset it by just turning the wheel very sharply. There we go. So, go back down here. And grab the switch. And that should be able to run, 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 run. Okay. I've also got a special one on the wall here. And... There we go. So thank god for auto aim, because you, all you get is turning left and right. You don't get, obviously, turning up and down. Uh, come back here. Ah. I do regret kind of not having a back button for strafe, but there we go. Yeah. Smashing the brake hits the buttons. Cool. Now, let's see if I get the shotgun. Yeah, this, this feels oddly appropriate. Doom kind of has this history of being, I guess, shoehorned into devices and um, control schemes that never was really um, intended for. Actually, if you get a chance and you're on YouTube, go and look up the Doom piano. It is, it's magnificent. I think a group of Polish game developers put it together, like including Sosasowski, the guy did the pixel. And yeah, it's basically just a piano with copper tape. And underneath the keys, and the keys play Doom. And of course, you get you know beautiful music to accompany you. It's what more can you ask for? You know what? This this may sound sacrilegious, but I I think this is slightly more fun than Outrun was. Like this seems like a much better fit for this controller than just. Oh, I'll say that, getting my ass kicked. Yeah, this feels like way more relaxing to play than a racing game did. Yeah, Doom on a car. Five stars. Next game. Okay, full disclosure, I love everything about this game, and I think it'll actually work pretty well, because um, we're basically just, we're gonna map the accelerator to the jetpack and then steer left and steer right. I mean, you basically run to the left and run to the right and shoot things. Um, I may regret not putting a turbo button on the shoot, the fire, and I'll have to like flick really fast, but we'll see how we go. Welcome to the party, Get ready. 
Okay. I kind of inverted it, so... By default, you're in the air. Oh my god, I wish I had the turbo switch now. Turbo button. This, this control is very responsive. Thanks, game. I guess the reason I love this game so much is it's just it's so colorful and full of. It, it's like it, it's just constantly boosting you. Like every time you finish a level, it says you're doing great. And like, ah, oh, that's right. Can't shoot your way through the poles. No. I just get the feeling that Sega's kind of lost that, lost that kind of insane, colourful wackiness that it had, replaced it with, I guess. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, times change. The most, the biggest seller is now, like, a spreadsheet management game. So... With like a little bit of tweaking to the controls, the aforementioned turbo button, this would uh, this would be very playable. Next game. Uh, real talk, I don't have a good feeling about this, mostly because when I play Descent, my strategy is usually just to circle strafe everything, and can't circle strafe in the car. It's just not an option. Also, um. You do need to be able to turn up and down, and we don't really have enough controls for that, so I've had to overload the uh, the high beams. Instead of shooting, they're now responsible for one tap goes up and two taps go down, I think. So, this is probably going to be a train wreck. Yep, turning looks good. Yep, one tap goes up, two taps go down. And then, put his lasers. Pray for me. All right, I'm going. I'm gonna go and shoot a robot. Oh, oh! Already got trolled by my own control scheme. Yes. Thank you for walking in the path of my lasers, robot friend. So much harder. Break. Yeah. Okay. Gotta ride the brake. This one. Yep. No. No. Turn up. Turn up a little bit. Turn down. No, turn down. Yeah, just meant to do that. Oh, oh. Well, let's keep going forward. Keep going, get the key. Um, yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I think the wheel button. This one is mapped to magic missile. Yeah, magic missile is what they're called. Okay. Ah. So I reckon in easy mode, the um, can, the collision sphere around the enemies is a lot bigger, and I appreciate that to Parallax Software because. I need every stinking advantage I can get at this point. Alright. Yep. And rescue the hostages. I'm so overjoyed. I'm so overjoyed to see me just sloshing around here in the most like, clumsily piloted fighter craft thing. Spacey crafty thing. Okay, now the reactor. Oh, no. Oh, I did, but... I think I need to find like a better control scheme for what I've got. Alright. 
have all the missiles. I have missiles. Oh, three. Okay. I got it. Now, to escape! No, turn down. Exit's down there. Yep. Oh, oh, up a bit. No, <laughs> come on! Please! Oh, no, not you. There we go. Whatever. You're in the tunnel now, I can run through you. <sighs> that was a little stressful. Yep, I would recommend that if you have enough controls in your car to do something better for... Um, tilt up and down, because that was sketchy. Next game. Alright. So this game took by far the longest to set up, mostly because it doesn't support normal joysticks, which is what um, all the kind of generating here it uses Xbox 360 controllers. So this is really a car pretending to be a Linux joystick, pretending to be a Windows joystick, pretending to be an Xbox 360 controller, pretending to be a Tracer. But let's uh, let's try out. Let's try. And let's see. Um, see if we can do some, play some parkour. Play some parkour. Do some parkour with the. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I've got brake as. Oh, dang it! I should really have reversed those. Um, yeah, don't care. Run, 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 run. Jump. Sketchy. Yeah. Alright, climb up. Sketch. Oh, okay. Yeah, acceleration curve is a little... I'm confusing with the frame rate. Also, I can't look up or down, just like in real life. Uh... Yep, boring dialogue. Had enough boring dialogue. Welcome back. Didn't think we'd be seeing you so soon. Yeah, we go. Okay, let's see if I can run down this plank here without killing myself. Yes, okay. Oh, whoa, no, no! Ah, oh, I spoke too soon. Ah. <laughs> Alright. Full yeah. fence. Oh, hello. Nope. What true right gather is just a jump. Oh no, no, it's not, maybe it's. Quit showing me how to do the damn move. Okay, running out the wall. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I've changed trigger to be jump because in Paco it's all about the jumps. There we go. Slide. Run down them planks. Run. Keep going. Frame rate less than forgiving, but that's okay because we're doing quite a Very relaxing activity for the most part. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Ah! Okay. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. Full disclosure, I forgot that you needed the punch command. I thought you could just get around with just like jumping and sliding, so I don't think I've got a way of opening the door with the car. I've got a way of turning around 180 degrees with the car. Alright. 
Sorry, everyone. I'm just going to cheat and punch my way through this door. Open. There we go. Back to me. Yep. Now. Back to the core parkour skills of balancing as quickly as possible. Oops. Oh, for real? Oh, I know what's happening. It's expecting me to, like, look straight down. Okay, so that's okay. We'll just position ourselves looking dead straight. Can I just say, though, as someone who actually, like, trains a bit of parkour, I gotta say that Faith's technique here, re-dismounting the rail, is actually fairly dangerous. Like, it's... You basically, you don't ever do that. Like, immediately, if you feel it's like you're about to fall, you crouch down, you grab the rail with both hands, and then you figure out what you do next. You don't just kind of like, oh no, I'm falling off, and tear over to the side. Okay, don't care. Oh. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, this is disappointing. I was expecting that I could, like, get at least all the way through this uh, level. But I'm being foiled by balance. Oh, does it use the strafe command? Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um. So I mapped left and right on the steering wheel to be um, turn left and turn right, but actually, I'm pretty sure in the game to adjust your balance, you have to use strafe right and strafe left. So, you know what? Just for kicks, I'm going to cheat my way across this rail by using the keyboard to keep balance. Yeah, yeah, it's strafe. It's so cheap. Anyway, we'll run. Okay, maybe not a wall run. Do a wall run. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm calling this one an L. You need, a, you need strafe for like a ton of stuff and don't have strafe, so. <sighs> Sorry. Next game. I guess tank controls work, so... I guess platform games might work too? Let's... Let's... Maybe, okay. Don't know I'm at. Okay. Steering wheel is start. I want to pick knuckles. Knuckles game, please. I picked this because I kind of have, like, a vague recollection that this is the easiest of all the level 1s in Sonic. In, yeah, Genesis Sonic game terms. Could be vastly misremembering this. And I guess we're about to find out. Whoa, okay. Yeah, alright. So this, so nothing fancy here. We're just mapping. The steering wheel has just been mapped to keyboard com to keyboard commands. So left, right, so forth. With a dead zone in the middle. So already, I get the feeling I should put a dead zone in the other games because it's so much easier to control. Well, come on. Right. Yes, fire shield. All right. Now, if I recall correctly, yep, break is duck. Quite satisfying, you can just like keep smashing the uh, accelerator pedal to rev the, the old spin dash up. Oh, yeah, that's right, you actually hold down the right. And yeah. Oops. Get this go with the mushrooms. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
Maybe I shouldn't pick knuckles. But... Oh, come on. How does that not count? Okay. Yeah. Is it here? Oops. <laughs> I noticed that you have to kind of like be a lot more slower and deliberate when you use this as your controller. Humping the brake! Yeah, that won't work. This is way more playable than I would have expected, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't died yet. Um, Getting plenty of rings. Oh, whoa, 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 bonus. Oh. Who earns? I want to get the bonus stage. Okay. Now, yeah, can I? Can I finish this boss? Oh, yeah, it's this one. It's easy. <sighs> he says jumping into a, into a log. Ah. No, 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 no. Come on, I need the ring. That's right, the jets don't even hurt. Why am I even kind of being all antsy about getting into the jets? Oh wait, they do hurt. Oh, they hurt, and now... That's what you say. So for some stupid reason, I want to know how good this thing is at um, just just mouse-like actions, and uh, yeah, why not go to my favorite mouse-driven game? Okay, so I, this is the this is the key because the accelerator pedal is a continuous scale from zero to two fifty-five, and I gotta like guess roughly where my foot is about to rest here, and that'll be where the dead area is for the mouse. So I'll go zero low sensitivity. And play Okay. Yeah. I'll take the diggers. Hmm. This isn't too bad. I did have to edit out like 50 takes where I was like just like messing with the controls, trying to like remap things. Like, so like the flicker, for instance, has to be button one, or else it's gonna suck. Yeah. Let's try like a more panicky sort of level. Oh no! No, 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 no! Ah! Okay. Oh crap, that's right, in this part of the game you can't change skills. Wow. You can't change skills while paused. I don't have enough time between going in the pause button to rescue him. <sighs> Let's try it again. I should really map that to it. Yeah, yeah, so judgy, so judgy. 
I've got I've got problems here, you know. I've got like a really terrible control system that for some reason I thought was a good idea. Okay. Come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Alright, now grab the builders. Then sprint! I'm calling it, that's too hard. Sorry. So... Mirror's Edge kind of felt possible if there was just only like a few more controls. Now, I know for a fact this game has got basically the arrow keys and shift. And that's it. So, it should be perfect for a car. If anything, it should be easier than Sonic. Alright. a moment there, but okay, let's do some parkour. So, yep, accelerate jump. I should be able to like run left. Yep, okay, cool. Tricky part. Um, oh, I know it's high beams. High beams is walk. I think. Yep, okay. Stuff. Jump. Okay. What's this tough one? Run, 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 jump. No, it's not. It's the one over there. the high beams more. Oh wait, no, it's the way back. I gotta go back down. Animation in this game is so pretty. This is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, like, it's making me think about my actions a lot more than if I was playing with the keyboard, like I'd be dead in five minutes. Oops, like that. Yeah, that would hurt. Come on, pick up the sword. Okay. Jump. What? Okay, like... Yeah, like... In... Here's what throws me, right? In the other scene, when you're about to, like, fall down the, the skylight, if you hold down the... If you hold down the warp button, that makes you grab onto the edge, but in that case, it does not. Which... I don't know. I'm calling shenanigans on that one, Jordan Mechner. Oh! <laughs> okay. On the whole, I'd call it about as playable as Sonic and Knuckles was. Which is to say, not amazing, but better than expected. Like, 
seriously give it a try. Oh, goodness. Yeah, let's just play this for 52 more minutes. Alright, next game. You know what? Let's end on a high. Let's just go for some sweet, sweet tank controls once again. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Yeah, no, exposition. I am ready to the game. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? So, yep. Oops. Many turns left and right. Um, yeah, accelerate moves forward. Now, which one is which one is use? Ah, yeah, kick is use. Okay. Some sort of oh, we do cool. Whatever you say, Effie. All right, so oh, yeah, I've got two run speeds on there. So if you like a little push down, it just walks. Or you hold down sprints. Now I want to pick up the deck of cards. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Hmm. All right, now how do I? So it's not gonna be one card. How do I put that away? Keep meaning to mark these cards. Okay, click his look. There we go. Alright, so now to leave the office. Yep. Okay. Gently leave the office. They do nothing. All right. Fine. There we go. So, sprint down the hall. Okay, let's get out. Let's get out of the Department of Death. Let's go into the street. Find the balloon guy. You know, do what you normally do in the playground with that angle. That's the door to the streets of El Maro. The soundtrack in this game is just amazing. There we are. I kind of wish that. Manny didn't turn so fast when he was sprinting, but, you know, can't have everything. So, let's test the balloon guy. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Hmm, alright, it's kind of tricky. What? Oh, okay. Hmm. This is this is all been enough to keyboard keys. Even if you use game controller mode, it doesn't really. There's no acceleration or anything, so there's no point. It's just easy to use, use keyboard keys. All right, so I want to. Yeah, that's good enough. I have to go. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too. Oh yeah, I forgot. Open the door is. Switch item. <laughs> uh, keep meaning to mark these cards. Alright. Just have to keep the door open then. So, yeah, that's been my project for the past uh, couple of weeks. The technical write up is linked to down in the video description if um, you want to. Try it on your car. Like I think the same rough method is applicable on pretty much any car made in the past ten years with an OBD port and has a CAN bus. So if you know a little bit of Python, then you probably just be able to take the code, change like one or two things, and do the same with your vehicle. And if you do, please let me know through Twitter or email or what have you, because I'm super excited to hear about things like that. And yes, I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching.